Welcome back everyone on theCUBE's live coverage. Day two of Red Hat Summit 2023 in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm John Furrier, your host, with Rob Strecci breaking down the analysis. We're here with HCL Tech. We're going to unpack business transformation, talk about Cloud Smart, Red Hat, all the action happening in the cloud. We've got two great guests, Kaudinya Kumar Dharma Varapu, also known as DK. Did I get that right? You got a great long last name and a, and a title. Global go-to-market professional services, head of IBM Red Hat ecosystem at HCL Tech. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, Tom. Mitch thanks, Gordon, Tom. global go-to-market head for IBM Red Hat ecosystem for HCL Tech. Guys, thanks for coming on. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. You guys are exposed to a lot of use cases, a lot of customer uh, big deals, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of integrations, transformations, lift and shift, refactoring, AI's wave is here. Cloud is right-sizing or cost-optimizing, whatever word you want to do. I won't say repatriation, because I don't think it's actually that. I think it's more cloud operations, so that's my opinion, but a lot going on. What's going on with you guys with Red Hat here? Talk about what's happening for in your world here. Um, I think it's a good uh, intro from Europe, thanks a lot. And uh, from an HCL standpoint, right, HCL tech standpoint, hybrid cloud is about the capability. Uh, it's not about an end state. Right, and uh, it's not about having this percentage on a public cloud, private cloud, or a bare metal, uh, right? It's all about the ability and the capability uh, to move, adopt, adapt, and adjust uh, as you see uh, if it, how it fits based upon your needs, actually. So that's the main element. And just moving forward from there, when I say ability, right? Ability is about the technology competencies that we're going to have. Mm. And we feel that the Red Hat gives that portfolio, which is comprehensive for us in hybrid multi-cloud, uh, with their platform approach around the enterprise Linux, uh, OpenShift, and the Ansible. And that to the new announcement yesterday, even more um, yeah. amazing in terms of the AIML infusions, actually, right? Rob, that's amazing. And the second piece is on the capability. Uh, capability, the way that we look at at HCL Tech is that how do we expand the digital leadership for ourselves by differentiating our services and offerings and the software portfolio. And we want to be one of the leading digital partner for the global 2000 enterprises in all our chosen markets. And then if you see the, the latest transformations that are going on, uh, sustainability becomes an important thing, right? So we're going to view that one into the stuff. So when I bring these elements, HCL has the capacity capability to bring the uh, knowledge of the client, the domain expertise, the resources that are required, and the IP and assets from various parts of this field together. So that is the crucial element for us as we look at this whole hybrid multi-cloud digital transformation story. And what's your role at HCL Tech? You've got professional services and the ecosystem? Yeah, absolutely. Do yeah, you I think as we look at the market, right, uh, that's why I use the word right, competence and capability, is that you, we need to have both the things coming together. Right, and why, what we weaved is that as we build the go-to-market strategy around the hybrid multi-cloud, the most important thing is how do you help the client through this journey? Uh, that is why the professional services and uh, the GTM goes together for us. Mitch, what's your take on the strategic nature of Red Hat? Obviously, they've checked the box on hybrid, pretty strong. Absolutely. You got Rosa with AWS, you got Edge developing, mm -hmm. I mean, Ansible, those guys are gods, the way they can do that configures. Now they've got automation coming into the mainstream. And I mean, Ansible engineers, they're loyal, they're, they're strong. It, that's scaling into the mainstream. Yeah. They're on the keynote. Their day one was dominated pretty much by Ansible, so that AI has got traction. Well, th th there's certainly a buzz here that, you know, it's not at every conference. You know, Red Hatters and Red Hat developers are super passionate, and you could feel it. <laughs> you could really feel it. Um, the way we're structured at HCL Tech, um, it, it's quite a differentiator, you know, in the, the way we see it. I mean, we are a typical large GSI. Um, we're very much a matrixed organization, just like Red Hat is, just like IBM is. We're both ex-IBMers. <laughs> um, fit right in then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so we have, we have our, our vertical sales teams, yeah. um, you know, uh, four, four verticals, um, financial services, healthcare, um, we call it Mega LT, which is uh, manufacturing, energy, utilities, logistics, transportation. Then we have TMT, um, tech, media, telco, retail, CPG. Yeah. Um, and then we have our horizontals that um, practices that deliver uh, um, for those vertical sales teams. Um, you know, we're pretty well known yeah. for infrastructure work, so we call that digital foundation. 
Um, and we have digital business, which is uh, application layer, um, data analytics, uh, growing really fast. Uh, and then we have uh, engineering and research services, which is also quite a differentiator. Uh, we're, we're so you got the horizontal scalability area. of the infrastructure. Yeah. So we have the horizontal. And the vertical, vertical specialization where the AI is now mm -hmm. doing extremely well in, so balancing Absolutely. that out has become, yeah. that's the big wave. Absolutely. Absolutely. And wh wh where I think where we are super unique is where DK and I belong, in the ecosystems. We actually have ecosystems um, of course, IBM Red Hat is where we belong. We have a Microsoft, a Google, and you know, uh, How AWS. How many ecosystems are out there, roughly? Um, uh, we have the, the, the three four. hyperscalers. So the hyperscalers. IBM and Red Hat, and then we have Dell, we have Cisco, we have- um, Is VMware in there? Uh, VMware, yeah. yes, absolutely. Are they considered and, an and ecosystem? And Intel has an ecosystem with us, too. Wow, I mean, Red Hat's got an ecosystem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well <laughs> we're special, of course we're special. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really special because we work with all of them. Yeah. And that's yeah. largely because of Red Hat. Yeah. Um, and and so so that that gives us a special and unique position at HCL to really collaborate with everybody. It's and that's interesting. I know Rob wants to get a question. Yeah. He wants to jump in here. <laughs> Go I, ahead. I will say that open source. We were just at the open source summit, and the conversation we had there that was dominating that was new. We've been covering it for for decades. Mm -hmm. Is that the ecosystems are forming in open source, yeah. which is like as the Google memo that was leaked a couple weeks ago, if you saw that, they're saying these moats are developing within the projects. Yeah. So it's a whole nother level yeah. of action. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you're right, Rob. I think that requires a 360 degree approach when we go in this digital transformation. Right? That's why ecosystems become so much important. Right, the every mile has to be covered. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I, I think what's interesting about like the whole Cloud Smart initiative is really about uh, right place, right time, you know, is it cloud native, is it not cloud native, yes. things of that nature, right? And I, I think that, how does Red Hat and IBM play into that? How do, how do you take advantage of yeah. the openness of this ecosystem? I think it's very, very important, I think. Um, I'll just connect it to the, if you analyze the market, right, the top three tech trends that are going on, right? Um, the ability to build the new business capabilities at speed, right? The clients all looking at speed. And we need to use hi hybrid multi-cloud to drive that one. The second one was that cloud native uh, is a new language of really addressing the digital uh, business. Third trend we, you are seeing is that the ability to observe, analyze, and act on customers generated data. Right, these three becomes very important trends. And so when you take those things, we at HCL Tech realize that uh, we need to have an unified approach, as I said, like an ecosystem to solve this pro this uh, challenges that the clients are going to face. So CloudSmart is like a consultative-led uh, approach to provide one HCL Tech cloud industry uh, solutions to our clients uh, by having an approach of, uh, from innovation and it focus on continuous modernization. And then what happens is that CloudSmart is actually as an industrialized services, which are like more like an outcome driven, uh, which are highly automated and repeatable processes, uh, but built on standard uh, products and platforms so that we will have, we can build a scale with it actually. Then at HCL, um, HCL Tech, the way we look at the CloudSmart strategy is that uh, we have almost 100 plus industry cloud solutions and 20 plus type of uh, horizontal offering solutions we already built. Mm -hmm. And this really drives and mitigates the risk that the clients will go through actually, right? So, And, and you're also working across hyperscalers as well, like you said, so absolutely. with Red Hat, you're doing Arrow with Azure, you're doing Rosa with AWS, that's right. and that's all part of that ecosystem, even Correct. though it's they have their own ecosystems unto themselves as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it's the reason why it becomes so important for Red Hat to be at the corner of this important point you raised was that Red Hat is like the way we look at it is like the way it was articulated, the Switzerland of this whole hybrid multi-cloud digital transformation story. Okay. They glue, they are the digital transformation uh, element that really glues these various hyperscalers. Right, they able to bring the physical, they're able to bring the public cloud, private clouds, or the bare metals, anything we talk about. So that's why they're uniquely positioned for us. And Red Hat becomes a core part of our cloud smart strategy. And what we really look at is that, uh, how do you modernize the digital core with cloud smart, with Red Hat, uh, the reinvent the client experiences with the new way the things are happening, and then you maximize the business value. Right, and it really accelerates 
in terms of the various factors, the factors around the continuous innovations that we can bring in with Cloud Smart, or a comprehensive cloud culture that is required in the clients, or create a sustainable future actually. So that is the reason um, when, the, when this question came up, it became so much important for us that Red Hat being the center of this whole strategy that we are evolving. Yeah. DK um, and Mitch, talk about the customer use cases and also the time, time it takes. Um, we seem to be in an accelerated world. Uh, Matt Hicks came on day one saying about this AI wave and this new next gen cloud and people building these super clouds are going to accelerate super fast. Mm -hmm. You know, the old days was like, hey, you know, yeah. transformation's going to take 10 years. Now it's like yeah. 10 months, now it's 10 days, it's a 10 hours. I mean, the shrinkage on time. Yeah. So talk about the time it takes to get these projects going, how you guys scope those, how you take customers through that, and give a use case of a customer. Take us through the day of life of what's uh, changed just going a few years back to yeah. today. Yeah, well, I, I'm a sales guy, <laughs> and uh, sales cycle is, is still rather long. HCL is, is really good with RFPs. And uh, when there's an RFP, that typically means that there's, there's a, a pretty long period of time between from RFI, RFP, shortlisting, and then uh, doing the final pitches and getting you know, final decision. So it, 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 it is short, and every one of our customers is in this journey, whether it's in the beginning or end, nobody's done, yeah. right? So, um, so it, I wouldn't say it's so like overnight. The pre-sales is obviously, they got to pay attention to the requirements. It's like building a product. Absolutely. Right. But on the delivery side, to the value, time to value, has that changed at all? How do you see, or do you, can projects be broken down differently, or how do you guys attack that? Yeah, well, well we, that? Do, we do break down day zero, day one, day two, um, and and uh, our our team we cover all of that. Um, <laughs> our ecosystem, we yeah. even have a Red Hat day zero team in India. Yeah. All they do is proof of concept, proof of value, yeah. proof of technology, and it's a big differentiator for HCL because we have these real kind of Navy SEAL folks that really know the technology. Um, th that's probably the quickest period of time when they're doing those tests. Uh, but the day one and day two, that's, that's, those are very long yeah, projects. Yeah, I can I'm totally imagine that business transformation is not going to happen overnight. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is is that um, with Red Hat, you're seeing a lot more no use cases. I guess my next question would be, what are some of the hot areas right now with the Red Hat in the ecosystem side of it? What's the hot, low-hanging fruit, some of the key things that people are jumping on right now that, that's notable? Yeah, so I think it's, uh, the hybrid multi-cloud is the biggest opportunity we see. And part of that one will be that uh, the application modernization transformation story is very strong actually, what we observe. Then the clients are looking for automation. So it means that the AIML becomes important. The second is the runbook automation, the events driven automation is very important, right? So if I correlate this one, it connects to what Matt was mentioning yesterday, yeah. if you see, right? I really liked uh, the way they brought the OpenShift AI. You feel like the Ansible part of the yeah. evolution that is happening, right? So those are the really hot areas that we really look at actually. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's exciting too because it is hyped up, I will say that, but there's, it's, ne it's legit next gen action. Papers are being published. I've seen Correct. more great academic papers that are have a lot of at good beat on the bone, mm -hmm. and it's legit. Tra it's l accelerations happening. So, so super exciting. Really appreciate you guys coming on as Pleasure. we wind down day two. With the last minute that we have left or so, since you're sales guys, <laughs> let's go hear the pitch. You have me sold HCL Tech. Give the pitch. What's the differentiator? Why should folks work with you guys? And why Red Hat Ecosystem IBM partnership? What's the pitch? Go ahead, Mitch. Uh, oh, well, you let me DK, go first. You want to go, go first? has been with the ACL. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, like I said, w we have um, day zero, day one, day two. We are very, very well known in the infrastructure space. We have um, engineering services, research services, very well known. Uh, the the, day, the DNA side, uh, we are expanding rapidly on, on the application level. Um, you know, we are a 360 degree ecosystem team. We work with IBM and Red Hat. Um, we work, uh, we actually do work for Red Hat as well. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's, it's a really deep, deep partnership that's getting really deep. You're trusted advisors for Red Hat. You asked about our, our, our meetings. We've had such great meetings. Red Hat is really, really accessible. And we have a great alliance team that supports us and, and we're really an extension of them. Red Hat's high quality people and they're transparent. They are really are. DK, what's your pitch, go. I think for us, as HCL Tech is a end-to-end um, -end, um, digital transformation partner for the clients. 
Um, for us, the Cloud Smart is one of our strength points, actually, as a consultative approach. We bring the one HCL to solve the client's challenges as he wants to get on to the uh, hybrid multi cloud transformation journey, actually. Yeah. So, as I said, the digital cloud and the engineering services be we'll able to bring all these three things together to solve the client's problems yeah. using Cloud Smart. Yeah, I, I tweeted yesterday that the multi, the multi cloud is really going to be the big opportunity. Hybrid right now is where people are landing. Absolutely. They're putting, that's their base camp. Got it. And then multi cloud will be the, will be the action that would include edge. I consider edge in that whole phenomenon. So absolutely. And Red Hat's the enabler for all of that. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I can see their moves, it's an operating system <laughs> play. It's like, I get it, <laughs> I can see it. Distributed computing's here forever. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE and rounding out our day two. Yes. Thanks a lot, DK, it's great. Mitch, nice to meet you both. HCL Tech here on theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, Rob Strecce. We'll be back with our closing summary after this short break. <laughs>